Hi, this is Gary with MacPost.com. Let me show you how you can crop picture-in-picture -picture video in iMovie on your Mac. MacMost is brought to you thanks to a great group of more than 2,000 supporters. Go to MacMost.com slash Patreon. There you could read more about it, join us, and get exclusive content and course discounts. Now, picture-in-picture -picture is one of the most advanced techniques that you can use in iMovie to make your video look great. But one problem with it seems to be that there's no way to crop the picture-in-picture -picture video to be anything else but the same dimensions as the main video. In other words, if your main video is 16 by 9, then your picture-in-picture -picture video has got to be 16 by 9. So for instance, here in iMovie, I've got a blank project. Let's go into that. And let's say I want to go and add some video to the main timeline. I'm going to go to Photos here under My Media. And I'm going to select All Photos. And then I'm going to just select Videos here. And then I'm going to add a video to the main timeline. So now I've got this main video. So now let's say I want to add some picture-in-picture -picture video to it. I'm going to drag a file this time, another way to add video to the, your project from the Finder into iMovie and just put it right here on the timeline above the main timeline as the one layer that you're allowed to have in iMovie. And this is called an overlay. And so you can see it's completely overlaying the video underneath it. I can change that from Cutaway, which just replaces the entire video under it, to Picture in Picture, which appears as a small little video here on top of the main video. And I can drag the blue dots here to resize it and I can drag it to move it anywhere I want. But the one thing I can't seem to do is crop it. I want to crop the left and right here and make this more square for instance. I can't seem to do it. It's going to be the same 16 by 9 ratio as the rest of the video. If I hold the shift key down and drag one of the blue dots, I can squeeze this like that. It's not going to create the effect I want. I don't want to squeeze the video. I want it to actually crop. And there doesn't seem to be a way to do that. If you go here to the crop tool with this picture picture video selected, you go from fit to crop to fill, I can crop but it stays at the same ratio. No matter where I put the pointer, it's always going to stay 16 by 9. So I can crop it like that as long as I keep that ratio. And Ken Burns isn't going to help either. So to get this done, let's start over again. So first I'm going to bring in that main video there. I'm going to go to Photos and select that again. Instead of dragging it to the timeline, I'm going to do things the proper way and drag it into Project Media first. I'm also going to drag that other video from the Finder and drag it into here. I can also drag it right here and I'll add that to Project Media. And I haven't added anything to the timeline yet. It doesn't matter where the videos come from. They could both come from Photos or they could both be dragged in from the Finder. I've got them in Project Media now. So I'm going to take this video and drag it onto the main timeline. And it's there as before. This video I could take and drag in above this as Picture Picture Video. But the trick is to crop it before you bring it in to the timeline. So I'm going to select it here. And when I select it and get this yellow outline around it, I can now use these tools to work with this clip before I bring it into the timeline. So for instance, I can work with the colors and the levels. In this case, I'm going to go to Cropping, select that, and now i got a Crop button here. I can click the Crop button. and Now I can crop the video and you can notice right away that cropping works differently here. I can drag the sides or the corners and crop the video like that. And then when I'm done, I can click the check mark there. And now you can see it's cropped here as a clip before it's in the timeline. And this is the main trick. So I'm going to take this and I'm going now to drag it into the timeline above here as an overlay and drop it on top. I'm going to change it down to picture in picture. And now I could see it is cropped like it is here. Now, sometimes it won't be because you do need to set one more thing. With the picture in picture video selected in the timeline, not here, but in the timeline, you want to go to cropping tools here. And now you get fit, crop to fill, and Ken Burns. You want to make sure it's set in this case to fit. If you have it set to crop to fill, then it's going to go back to that same 16 by 9 ratio. So that's an important thing. If it wasn't working right away, this is what you want to check. You want to take this, change it to fit. And now that it's set to fit, it's going to be this 
cropped video here. I could select the overlay settings there. I could move it around. I could you know, set the border, add a shadow, do all the other stuff, change the effect here. You want to stick with the dissolve. Zoom doesn't work quite right but sometimes it's okay uh, if you crop it. Swap doesn't really work very well at all so you want to avoid that. And you know, I can position this where I want. I can resize it or keep the cropping if I resize it like that. And now I've got my cropped picture and picture video. If I go back here and select this and then go to crop and then change the cropping like this, click the check mark like that and then I look back at the main timeline, notice that it didn't change anything. It actually kept the cropping that was added originally. So I'm going to shrink this in and I'm going to add it again like that. And notice how the cropping now is the new cropping. So I can change that to picture in picture and the new cropping is actually used for this other clip. So it remembers the cropping at the moment it was added. So you can't go and alter an existing one that's there. You'd have to go back, change the cropping, and re-add it. But this is useful if you want to have the same video but cropped in different ways during your movie. Now this works for photos as well. Let's go back into Photos Library here and I'm going to look at Photos instead and let me pick an image like this one. I'll bring it in. This is just a regular photo. So I've added it here and if I try to do you know, picture in picture here it won't let me crop it in any way. Cropping like this won't let me adjust it uh, anything but 16 by 9. But if I get rid of it here, go back to the Project Media, select it in Project Media, go to Crop, click the Crop button just like before and change the crop. Click the check mark there then add this back. And let's change to picture in picture and you can see it didn't seem to work. But remember that extra step. With this selected, go to the Crop Tools and check to make sure it's set to fit. And now click the check and now you can see it's obeying the crop. So you got to remember that extra step of going in here with it selected in the timeline and changing to fit. It's tricky to do. You got to remember the steps. Bring the video or photo into Project Media. Select it in Project Media. Crop it while it's in Project Media. Then add it to the timeline as an overlay. Change the overlay to Picture in Picture and then set its cropping as Picture in Picture to Fit. And that's how to crop Picture in Picture video in iMovie. I'm using iMovie 10.4.2 here. I don't know if you go back to earlier versions if you could do this and it will work but it definitely works in the latest version. I hope you find this useful. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, click the thumbs up button below to let me know. I publish new tutorials each weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out.